I'm Sebastian Perry. I work at the Academy of Interactive Entertainment. Uh, I've been doing that for about 15 years. Uh, it started in Canberra 19 years ago. Um, there's now seven campuses nationally and internationally. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you about is sort of what I do um, at the AIE. I run an incubator out of the AIE and uh, in the AIE the incubator is sort of been established because students want it. They wanted to publish and uh, promote their own products uh, and they wanted to learn what it took to uh, run a sustainable, small, independent digital distribution business. That kicked off around about uh, 2012 and we've been going ever since. The way it works is um, before students start, I spend about six months talking to them, collecting evidence that they can actually work together. We also set expectations and loosely set a kind of a, a rough goal, a target to try and achieve uh, returns for their, their products. Um, during the training, it's uh, very practical. So they're actually building products and gathering data on that product and improving the product based on that data. It's results orientated. So the better the product, the better the testing, the better the work they put into it, um, the better the results will be and hopefully they'll get the returns. Um, so, to do this really well, uh, we get input from our industry representatives. So we don't do this in isolation, we don't drink our own Kool-Aid, we actually get assistance and we, we do some rigorous feedback from our industry friends. And there are game developers doing quite well in Canberra, believe it or not. Um, each student receives the following item, uh, items when they join our incubator program. They get mentoring from myself and all of the colleagues that I have around me. Uh, computers, software, uh, free internet for the duration of the course, 24 hour office space, etc. And probably most notably the post incubator program, which I'll talk about a bit more in a moment. Um, teams essentially build uh, business plans around distributing content via digital distribution networks that are established. That mitigates a ton of risks. Um, we investigate monetization models, of which there's no end of innovation on, on a constant moving sort of landscape. Um, and normally, teams will register before um, publishing contracts and the following tax treaties need to be administrated. Um, teams develop their content for a variety of platforms. It's not enough to just deliver to one platform. Really, you need that ability to push out across multiple platforms, and that actually starts with the initial design of the product. So you've, you've got to be flexible in the control scheme and pretty much everything that follows after that. Um, we also spend a lot of time investigating emerging platforms, and smart TVs is one of those things that the teams are looking at at the moment. Um, so, a little bit about Steam. Steam's probably the first port of call for most of these developers. There's a lot of users on Steam, as you can see. Um, and it essentially provides an opportunity for, for students to validate that their product is actually innovative, providing a new game experience, something that, that audiences haven't <coughs> seen before. That's what Steam wants. They actually want, um, Steam audiences want something new. So, our, our students approach that. They, We've managed to push through eight, and that means that they've got their first access to market. That's their first port of call. From there, they can use that to leverage to get onto consoles and whatnot. Um, so over the last four years, the program has evolved. Uh, AIE does uh, pride itself on actually caring about our graduates, and they soon become our peers, uh, you know, our colleagues even. Uh, most of the students that I work with actually become teachers at the, the course for a period of time just to get by. Um, some stick around and do it for 15 years like I have. Um, so uh, essentially Steam, uh, sorry, lost my spot. Um, with our uh, two year program uh, post incubator, they get ongoing support through rent, cheap rent, and they also have access to our $150,000 post incubator grant fund. So, what have we done? We've got 12 teams established who are continuing to produce content beyond training, and we have four teams releasing uh, this year across Steam and into the first quarter of next year on consoles. Um, 
Ultimately, we'd love to see um, CTB uh, and the plans for it come to fruition. AOE has committed $44 million in upgrades uh, in a pro proposal to the ACT government. Essentially, what excites me about this program is that uh, we're keeping our teams in arm's reach of the next generation of students, and that provides opportunities and support into the future. Thank you very much.